hey guys my skin is, is still going through the most so <laughs> no makeup and i hope you can't tell that i'm actually really really tired but life is really lifing <laughs> and i have to do this video so thank you so much for clicking i hope you watched the first episode on singleness q and a i'm just here to complete the questions answering them and i hope you enjoy <laughs> african babe with but two notes <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's just get right into the video. Uh, seven um, questions now that I answered six questions in the last episode. The seventh one says, Did you go through a phase of being hidden by God and wasn't approached by godly men? <laughs> you know what? I, I personally think that I'm in a season where I'm hidden, like hidden in everything, like every, every everything. I am hidden with everything, but I'm here for it because... I've come to believe that, you know, sometimes God hides you, puts you into solitude for a greater good at the end. So I'm, I'm in that season where I'm just trusting God with whatever plan he has well, I don't for me. I think I've, I've, I've attracted godly men, honestly. And for me, a godly man is somebody whose heart is yearning to please God and they're no longer into sin and they're born again and they're all this perfect Christian, in quotes, someone who is like obeying God, someone who is like into doing what the bible says i don't think i've ever attracted one <laughs> i feel like i've always attracted the nastiest people the hypocrites and a part of me always asks Kwani, what do y'all see but then i remember that i'm a beautiful girl and everybody will want to be a part of of me in my journey so yeah i just let go of that i've never been the the girl who like guys ask out more often i feel like i've experienced like what it is like to be asked out like just this month of april before that i i wasn't always that type of girl who people ask out <laughs> i feel like I'm, i've always been that type of girl who people take for a joke <laughs> Now I'm, I'm in a season where I'm taking myself seriously and I'm not entertaining bullshit. You know, the more, the more you just entertain one bullshit is the moment everything bullshit will just be coming in and out. Nowadays I'm so assertive because I know what I'm looking for is greater than what I am attracting right now. Mm, I like that. Light. I've changed the position of the camera. I hope it doesn't look weird. <laughs> I personally think like I'm already looking weird, like without makeup and I'm filming. Someone is like, are you, are you really taking us serious? <laughs> um, the next question is, um, tips on how to not idolize marriage while being single. I feel like most of us, if you're a Christian woman, you always idolize marriage. You, all your prayer items are just like, God, when is my man coming? When is he coming? Even when you see people posting instead of celebrating them, you're just like, God, when, 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 when is my man? And we end up idolizing marriage. And I don't think that is what God personally wants for us. I feel like. God is beyond just marriage or a relationship or God is just beyond your work. You know, he's, you should involve him in like everything. Like, you know, don't just idolize marriage. And most of us find ourselves idolizing it because we feel like when this marriage comes is when you'll be complete or you feel like now you'll start living life once your husband comes or your partner. I'm going to share with you the solution that I got to that. When you find yourself, you're in that season where you're just idolizing marriage, idolizing things. I think you have to let go of your desires. You know, the Bible says that God already knows our heart's desires and he will, he will make them come true. And even most people, when you hear them talking about how they met the one, they met the one when they're actually not even thinking about it or when they're not even actively looking for someone it just just comes when you stop being in control of it just let go of the desire and you pray about it you know god already knows and if god himself has told you that he has a marriage for you he has designed marriage for you he has a plan for you to be married why are you worried like he'll bring the person like all you have to do is just listen to the holy spirit and put yourself in places where the holy spirit leads you to be be at the right place at the right time by the help of the holy spirit <laughs> hmm. next question says is um how to fight the urge of desperation and get over a crush <laughs> You know something funny is that when this year started, I was desperate. I was D for desperate. Like, what? I was desperate for everything. Everything in life I was desperate for a work life. I was desperate for a partner. I was desperate to 
get out of this place i was desperate for everything like everything i was desperate for it and it's in that season that i wasn't even praying so how i let go of the desperation of like wanting to have a partner and is, is i realized that desperation didn't work for me <laughs> i made actions that were in alignment with my desperation but my holy spirit was against it at at all times my intuition told me don't do this don't go here but who is me i went anyway why because i'm desperate and it worked against me and so when it worked it crashed on my face and then i realized that it's not serving me and anything that is not serving you i think you should, it should be easy for you to let go of it so i just prayed <laughs> i cried when i say i pray i cry because my favorite kind of prayer is the liquid prayer which is through tears you know the bible says that jesus is interceding for us at the right hand of god the other day in my bible study i realized even the spirit is also interceding for us even without words a simple sigh a simple groan just when you're crying like the spirit already knows god knows the mind of your spirit so even when you're crying god already is already answering you you know your tears are not in vain so i cry to god and i'm like this is how i'm feeling and that's how i let go of the desperation and now i'm not desperate anymore i pray that i do not go back to that place again how do you get over a crush <laughs> by letting go of them i feel like if if i am to write a book i'll write a book of how to let go because i've learned how to let go of everything like my desires my dreams i'm just like yeah like you just submit them to god so when i have a crush on somebody <laughs> which has happened i let go of them i like when you get obsessed over someone you realize that you are working too much and you're not in your feminine energy so when i realize i'm in my masculine energy and i want things to work out on my way i let go of that idea of how perfect we are supposed to be or how we are supposed to end together and i just sit down like this like somewhere alone oh the sun is sunning y'all it is sunning thank god i have sunscreen i just sit somewhere and i close my eyes and i breathe in and out let me do a demo i am letting go of three three i am letting go of you in my mind i am not thinking about you anymore everything that is meant to be it will be i know that god's desires are in me i literally say those words and you mentioned the person of used three as an example but you let go of that person in your head and i feel like it works and sometimes time time will tell you what to do like sometimes i'm so obsessed over something and i'm praying over them and, then, and i'm like oh god i want to be with this person this person is nice you know <laughs> like we've had deep conversations i rarely have people who we have deep conversations so when you, you give me that one hour of us to i'm just like i'm in love but um when i do this press like after one phone call i realize i'm so happy and i want to i want more of this person the spirit tells me just wait and sometimes i'm like spirit come on you can't tell me that i want them like right now i want us to be together i want us to be an item and then couple of conversations later this has happened to me literally this month couple of uh conversations later when you talk about something different you realize that this person is is actually not as smart as you thought they were like when, the more you interact with someone's mind because i'm sapiosexual i fall in love with the mind first before the physical so when you interact with them in couple of calls later you realize what this is how you think like and yeah, and yeah, the spirit is always right okay <laughs> give it time you will realize they're not you're even overthinking you know appear a bigger standard than they actually are just let people show you who they are so after your crush just dies because eh, i had another conversation like a week ago and i was like it drained me i was like this is how you think what <laughs> time will help you get over that crash <laughs> don't even just pray about it don't act on it you know i hope you're enjoying this video so far <laughs> i didn't look like a village girl isn't it just give me a thumbs up because anything about god i'm so passionate like have you ever prayed for a relationship all the time like i feel like one mistake as christian women have is we overcommit in the beginning like for me it's very easy i've told you guys i'm a sapiosexual so i fall in love with the brain with with your mind before i fall in love with your physical so although you have to be attractive that's why i usually prefer like creating a connection while talking on phone calls is my love language 
it should be part of the love languages so when i'm talking to you we have deep conversations within one hour it just takes me one or a number uno one hour for me to like to like this person like so deeply when you connection eco i usually pray about it like immediately i'm just like oh god i really like this and also because nowadays i have for connections and not just having somebody and i saw that in in benjamin zulu's post speaking about benjamin zulu there's this conference in june i'm like 7500 god i really need that miracle anyway <laughs> i really love that guy i feel like he's my life coach on the internet and he was saying that when you start co- craving for connections rather than just having somebody it means that you have healed and i agree because come on your long conversation i'm just like i'm out and when that conversation equal i rarely meet such people like people who we connect on that level of deep conversations we relate we are weird together i remember him saying in an episode that you should post weird things so that your fellow weird people can find you i agree when i get that connection because i rarely find people who we connect i usually pray about it because i know i have naturally like tunisha kupenda so it's like if i don't pray about it so that like spirit and he lead and he come down like you know sometimes the spirit is like let time time ikuonyeshe who this person really is because you know i overthink sometimes i i make you feel like this person is so god god like her god like you know all good things but few conversation down the line you're like well <laughs> so yeah i pray about every fling let alone relationship every fling i pray about uh, it have you ever been boy crazy is he the one type of thing i think <laughs> well let me not lie the one time i had i thought someone could actually be my husband was in campus and mind you this guy i met him on social media on facebook before i joined first year so few months before me joining i had never seen this person and yet we were just talking in and out like for all the years from first year to fourth year we had never met yet in my head i thought that this person could be my husband how i'm just like what <laughs> you really thought so huh you really thought <laughs> Um, even though like I wasn't like physically attracted to this person through pictures we had never like had a connection you know and I was like, thinking, like I was so shallow like young mind I I didn't know better now I know better you know <laughs> so yeah I've been boy crazy and I thought he was the one and I actually told him just this year that you actually broke my heart because I thought you were going to be my husband and I remember <laughs> you know what that let me not let me not embarrass myself but i remember me crying after something else happened like i wanted him to come and see me while i was in school na akwa rada when a man wants to he will so yeah akwa na yo rada ya takukuja kuniona and i was so mad i remember crying and then i had met this guy who is a ugandan so he was the one like telling me like how to get over him i downloaded this app a notebook so i used to write how i feel how i feel how i feel within three days i was like done meet na soka mbele i was dumb ujai meet ujai meet akuna connection i think it was the pressure in uni all my age mates all my church girls like me walikuwa engaged talking about marriage and you feel like even you you are ready to be married but no what do you know at 22 what do you know like yo so i tend to urumia you all got married that early nah before even you found yourself last question is have you reached the point of frustration when waiting no and there is this quote i'm gonna put it here is like the way you wait makes a difference maybe it's just quite frustrated but i've been when i was desperate a few months ago i was frustrated but now i'm not most of these people when you want them when you want them in your in your life you may magnify what they really are so sometimes you just relax and let people show you who they really are but they are way magnetize and wanting them to be who you want them to be so yeah thank you so much for watching this video you guys <laughs> right now i'm in a good space i'm like i'm not frustrated i'm at peace and i feel like i've finally got the balance of actually not worrying rather have faith So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you on my next video. Let me know if you want more conversations on singleness because I am the queen and I'm going to bring all the conversations here. 
disclaimer please you guys i usually post videos three times a week on wednesday friday and sunday last week i only posted one video because life happened this week i'm only posting two because at the weekend i'm busy so next week i'll try to cover it up and post three because i know the other week i'll be busy again i'll probably see you in may so yeah i like a busy girl booked and busy <laughs> You know, when I prayed that universe, I want to be a workaholic, it really listened. 